Hey everyone, so I am back and this time I am back with the oh God. I'm back with the writer die tag. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've been like really planning and thinking out the products I want to use. Uh, I want a feature. Gosh. Also, you may see some like animal activity behind here. Um, I am in my new place finally. Um, we've been here for a month today. I think a month today. Um, so yeah, you might hear some like my kittens. You'll see them running back and forth. Um, like right now, <laughs> this is Boo. <laughs> He's so handsome. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, as far as I know, Jacqueline Hill started this whole tag. Um, I love this tag. <laughs> okay. I love this tag. I think, um, honestly, I think it's a really good way to, like, be like, oh, like, let me try that. That's your ride or die. Like, that's your number one most favorite thing. Like, let me try it. So, um, yeah, I know I've grabbed a few things just because of this tag. Um, so I hope I give you some ideas for some new things to try as well. And without further ado, let's get started. I forgot a couple things. Ah! Okay, so first, um, I'm gonna start with my favorite primer, my Red or Dye primer. So this is the, um, Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Blemishless. Um, I love this. I've tried quite a few primers in my day, especially being like oily, combination skin. This one is the only one I've tried that's really kept my foundation on all day. Whether I go to Disneyland, to work for eight hours, to the store, like anywhere, this one really keeps it um, on all day. Open here. Um, next is like sprays. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I haven't filmed in a while, so I feel like really weird talking. I'm like out of breath. It's weird. Um, this is a charge water from Mac. Literally, ever since I started using this, I want to say like five years ago, I can't be without it. Um, and it was long term out of stock for a while. And I couldn't get it for a few months, and it was the worst. Like, I can't even <laughs> describe it to you how bad it was for me. Um, I'm so happy to have this in my life. It keeps me hydrated, keeps my makeup on all day, and, like, keeps me hydrated without making me oily. Like, Fix Plus, unfortunately, always makes me pretty oily. But this is everything. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. Uh, one foundation I don't have actually I just have like a sample of it because I've been like um, I haven't been to this uh, to the actual store in a long in a few weeks and I always forget like whenever I go to the Mac store to replenish things um, I get so like overwhelmed with being in there and like all the new things and I'm like oh yeah I want to try that oh yeah da 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 that I forget what I actually was in there for like my foundation um but it's the studio fix liquid I everyone wants to talk shit all the time about that foundation but it is so amazing it doesn't make you cakey it's all about application it's all about you know how much product you use product you use if you like glob it on your face and like shellac it on your face obviously it's gonna look cakey but if you use the right amount and just like really work it in the skin it is so beautiful and it literally never fails me ever I can I've been wearing it for 10 years and it's always what I go back to because it's that good um, a new discovery for me that is like another favorite is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is like empty. 
like completely empty. Um, I love mixing it with my Studio Fix just to give my foundation more of like a glowy look. Oh my God, sorry. Just to give it more of like a real glowy, like dewy finish um, instead of like as matte as um, Studio Fix can be. And even by itself, I'm wearing it today. And it is so, sorry, my eyes are crazy. It is so beautiful and like makes my skin look so amazing. I love that foundation, even though I'm oily. I still really love it. Next up is concealers. Um, I <laughs> this is like where it starts to get crazy. I like. Um, I can't just pick one for this and for that. Certain ones definitely, but a couple of these I have multiples just because I'm one of. I just can't just pick one. So concealers um, for my under eye concealer never ever ever fails MAC Pro Longwear NC15 it's so good and so wonderful and beautiful under the eyes um, I haven't found one better than this I've tried NARS, NYX, Bobbi Brown, Chanel everything this is where it's at always I can never ever like get rid of like not use this I also love to mix in a little bit of this with my foundation which is amazing um, or with um, if you're familiar with MAC um, foundations with MAC face and body because it's that water based real light coverage you mix just a couple pumps of this it's just like so beautiful love um, and for cleaning up my under eye or my brow bone is Max Studio Finish Concealer. It's just so pigmented, creamy, just beautiful. I love this. Could never be without this either. And when I have days like with my NC15 Pro Long, where there's days where it's still not like light enough under the eye. This has really saved me. It is the Kat Von D Whiteout, yeah, Whiteout Locket Concealer. It just comes with the doe foot applicator and um, it's pure white. It's a locket concealer in pure white. And just mix in a little bit of this with any of your concealers, even with like some foundations. And it just lightens it, but still looks like skin it doesn't look like I took white out under my eye it is so beautiful I can't be without this either like just because there's times where it's like that's not light enough you know and so that's my little cap on D white out and powders I got real crazy with powders um, I was gonna feature um, the pseudo fix powder actually um, then I realized that I don't remember the last time I actually reached for that. It's been quite a while. I love that powder, but I've just realized that I love other powders more as I've been discovering more powders. For instance, the MAC Loose Mineral Powder. Uh, my good friend Kayla at work, um, she would use this on her and like on clients and I was like what is that like their skin just looks so airbrushed and like buttery and beautiful and what the hell is that and it was always the mineralized loose so I purchased that and it's just like phew. so beautiful highly recommend and for a touch-up powder I saw that on Cora Vintage Attackies post um, she did she featured um, touch up powders mine is studio care blend from MAC I even use this to set my whole face sometimes as you can see it's very very well loved um, again it like gives you that like healthy look um, and I am oily but I still use products that are more for normal to dry skin sometimes just because I don't mind if I look a little greasy here and there because I just take 
blood sheet powder and I'll be fine. Um, love this so much. I, this is my like 10th one. I have, I've had so many of these. I have a new one um, at my vanity. It's beautiful. For the under eye, I, I really love the Laura Mercier Translucent a lot. But NARS Snow Loose, I've been using this for a few months. No, for way longer since it came out. I want to say like a, a well over a year. Nothing is as light and bright and beautiful. I'm using that today. And it just is so smooth and velvety and just so beautiful. Love. Um, NYX is like bronzer, blush, highlight kind of thing. <laughs> My Kat Von D shade and light contour palette, like, let's have a moment for her because she is used, she has been used, she has been loved. This is like so, so good. Um, this one actually fell out. I didn't love this one as much, but it fell out. Um, this is my favorite contour shade ever. Favorite bronzer shade. Under eye, I love to mix those two. I even use this as blush sometimes or in the crease. Um, perfect timing for her to come out with the refills, right? Um, but this is my holy grail. I love this thing. She did such an amazing, amazing, amazing job with this. Love that. Uh, let's go. Oh, and then also what I like to use sometimes if I want to look real warm and sun-kissed is the Chanel Tan de Chanel or Soleil Tan de Chanel. This is cream. Um, it was just like a beauty blender or like a soft brush and just gives you like a real warm look to the skin. I didn't use it today. Um, I shadow play today, but this I love a lot, even as like a base. So, like foundation, then this, then the bronzer on top. Bump. No one, if you know me, no one is surprised by this at all. They'd be like, yeah, no shit. Or if I picked something else, they would be like, you're a liar. Um, Warm Soul. This is my favorite blush of all time. This is, I want to say my second one. Um, I use this every day. Um, still no belly button. I've had this forever. I use this every single day. This one or Melba, but I wanted to keep it 1000% real. This is my favorite blush folder. It just looks so good. I'm wearing it today. Just like, hell, again, healthy. Like, even though I am, I have zero skin pigmentation, it still makes me look healthy, which is amazing. I should probably swatch things. I just keep forgetting. Um, so it's like beautiful, warm, peachy, a little bit of pink, not that, lot, not that much shade. It's so stunning. I love this blush. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and highlighter. My favorite highlighter is actually an eyeshadow, also from MAC. And a natural flirt. It is an, an extreme dimension shadow. I have it on today. Let's watch this watch. But it's like just like this beautiful like pinky champagne color. I love this cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, inner corner, lid, like everywhere it just is so beautiful and like soft looking it is my favorite favorite thing um 
eyeshadow palette. Let me like do this right. Hold on. I want it to look. I want it to be perfect. So my favorite eyeshadow palette, even though it's like not like a palette, is the Melt Cosmetics Rust Stack. You guys, this is my. Let's go. This is my favorite, favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. It is so beautiful. It is perfect. It has perfect creamy shade. It has perfect transitions to shade. It has this ugly, mustardy, brown shit color, but it is perfect. It has this red brown, which is perfect, and this dark, dark brown. Like, it is so perfect. It's so ugly and gross, but it's just my favorite. And uh, this one, too. Oops. And Mel is so highly pigmented and like amazing. I just can't ever get over the quality and like the time. But Laura and Dana put into these are just out of this world. Um, now for uh, my favorite single eyeshadow. Oh, again, another N Extreme shadow from MAC. This one is in Sweet Heat. These are just so creamy and pigmented and just like, are you kidding me? Like, all my days off, if I'm gonna go run errands and I wanna wear makeup, literally throw, like, my bronzer color on the crease, this on the lid, done, out the door, and I look so, like, ready for the day. It's amazing. I love that eyeshadow. Anyways, so now we're gonna go to eyeliners. Um... And at that moment, I remembered I forgot something again. Fuck. I have my favorite pencil liners here. The first one is Costa Rich from MAC. Second is Feline from MAC. And the third one is the NYX Wonder Pencil and Fair. So, it's like that perfect red brown. It's like super inky, inky black. And this gorgeous cream color. Put right in that waterline to really wake up the eyes. It is so beautiful. I love that. My favorite that I've come across is the NYC. Um, NYC um, liquid eyeliner. It's like so matte and amazing and you know. And it's also so good and so inexpensive and it dries matte. That's what I'm wearing today. And it's Wonderful. It's not all hype, like, because I know crispy and a lot of people talked about it, but it is so good. It's not hype. They're keeping it 100 about that product and that eyeliner because so crispy. I was like, well, it looks good on her. I'm going to try it. Next is mascara. Again, if you know me, I cannot live without L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black in my makeup bang vanity whatever if i don't have this can't do it i i've tried 
lots of mascaras. I tried La Volume from Chanel. I've tried MAC ones, uh, Lancome ones, Maybelline, CoverGirl, all the ones. That is the best mascara I have ever used in my life. My mom actually was like, here, try this. Like 10 years ago and never found anything better. Okay, sorry guys, my, um, what's it called? My camera was overheating, so I had to like stop and restart. Ooh. Um, okay, so now I'm on to eyebrows. Um, this next couple products actually kind of snuck up on me. Um, I started doing my eyebrows differently, uh, the past couple months. I've been doing them, like, bushy and like trying to make it more natural but a little bit defined if that makes sense I'm probably uh, sure it doesn't but you know what I mean so the best products I found for this is the MAC brow sculpt um, I have spiked I need stud but it does the job this is angled waxy pencil and it has a little brush guy on the end. Um, I will do, the, do a tutor tutorial on my updated brow routine, um, but literally it just makes them so bushy and wonderful. <laughs> and I'll show you guys, I've probably seen this from like, um, oh my gosh, Genevieve, my, I think her name's like GG Genevieve or something, I'm not sure. You know who it is though. Um, but soap, this is the best soap I've ever used for it. It's uh, from Lush. Um, I spray it with my charger water, get this little spoolie guy in it, and then literally just push these bad boys up. <laughs> it looks so good and it stays, it's amazing. Um, Alright, so this. I had to put the kittens um, in our bedroom because um, they were like running back and forth on this table and knocking over everything. So I'm like, mm, okay, I should probably go in your room. <laughs> um, just until I finish, of course. Next is lip um, stuff. And I have my favorite lip balm of all time. It is Vaseline Lip Therapy in Creme Brulee. It is very, very well loved. It I've never found a um, lip balm that is better than this. It really um, conditions my lips, hydrates them, and gets them ready for um, my lip products. I tend to do all my products all the time. It's just what I prefer over anything. Um, so, yeah, that's my faves. Lip liner, I, of course, cannot pick one. I picked three, I know, I know, I know. Um, there's actually another one, it would be Sore from MAC, but I couldn't find mine, because mine's like this big. But Sore, definitely. Um, morning coffee. Uh, half red and plum so these are the three I chose so morning coffee plum and half red because you literally get all your bases covered with these. You have your neutral, um, like a darker neutral, and then like a darker color, which I love all this. Um, and for liquid lip, again, should be no surprise to anybody. Lolita from Kat Von D. Um, I mean, 
It's my favorite. I have four of these because I kept thinking I lost them or I just needed another one. Um, and I would just buy them and then refine them and then buy, lose them, buy them, refine them. So yeah, I have four. But they're so good and I don't even care. I'm like, whatever. Um, so bomb. And for lipsticks, I chose two. Because um, I wear them all the time. I chose Whirl from MAC. And Viva Room 2, also from MAC. It's not, this isn't sponsored, it's just, I really like the products. Um, This is Whirl, this is Viva Glam 2. I did not do nude lipstick until Viva Glam 2. Viva Glam 2 like changed my world and I was like, alright, I can fuck with a nude lipstick. Not with morning coffee or uh, with sore. It was prime time. It's like my fave. Okay, I have a couple more. Almost done. Um, for specialty products, I chose my Tweezer Man Rose Gold Lash Curler. My Booty Blender. Cause, I mean, you guys know the deal with Booty Blenders. The black one is my favorite. It's a little bit denser. It gives me a better like airbrush look, in my opinion. Um, and then this Duo Lash Glue uh, Latex Free. This is a little like vitamin E, I believe in it. Mine is in real bad shape. But this is my all time favorite. And lashes, um, the ones I'm wearing, these are 48s by MAC. My favorite, and if you know me, um, 35s. Two pairs of 35s, one pair of 48s, like my favorite lashes of all time. I wear these all the time. I always keep, I have a pair of 35s in my car, and I keep a pair of 48s in my purse, it's weird, but um, I tend to forget to put on my lashes a lot, and so I just have those in glue, just in case I need to pop them on. And last, nail polish, um, Black Onyx from OPI. I love black nail polish. I don't have any nail polish on right now. I love the way it looks. It's just like clean black nail polish. It looks so pretty. Um, oh, and Parfum. Chance by Chanel and Uvi. It's the pink one. This one and Flower Bomb and Daisy Oh So Fresh are my all time favorites. Um, I love this so much. Um, yeah, so, anyways, guys, that is, those are my Rad or Die products. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you now want to like venture out of what you have and want to try some new fun things. Um, yeah, I really hope I inspired you to try some new things. Um, if you want to see demos of any of the products I used, I'm definitely going to do an eyebrow video soon. Um, now that I finally have a new computer, I'm settled into my new place, so I have time, so I have the space to do it. Just need a little bit more time. Um, yeah, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, um, follow me on social media. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.